And we're back at about uh, 40 past the hour. Stephen, Matt, Ed, Donald, it's the Dixie Melody Boys in the house talking about, uh, among other things, that 50th anniversary album. Stephen, if you would give us a brief overview of this album. What's uh, what some of the tunes on it? What, what kind of flavor? Well, after a long search of songs over the past couple of months, I think we did finally settle them down to some great songs. Mm -hmm. uh, one song, uh, Ed had been told by a gentleman years ago that you always got to have a song about the blood. Mm -hmm. uh, and I'm trying to think of the title of the song. What was his it? The, Blood Alone. Yeah, His Blood Alone Darryl is one. That. It's, it's going to be a great power ballad. We were just discussing about it a while ago. We're going back and going to do some uh, uh, re re recording of some old retro Dixie Melody Boards, or should there I say DMB? Yeah, uh, DMB band. Yes. And uh, so those will be on there. And, and uh, I don't know, it's just, it's just been put together. Just now that we're listening to just those songs, we can tell it's going to be a great album. Matt, you got a pick of a letter off this album? You know, I do. We've got one there. I, I cry every time. It's called I've Got Family There. Uh, yes. Marty Sunderberg wrote that song. And I'm telling you, it's one of those that just makes you want, I mean, you just sit there and cry and think about Grandma, and Ed's mm -hmm. going to be doing that one. It, it's, you know, he said it's full of great songs. Rodney Griffin sent some great stuff over. Greg Day, we were talking about Greg, yeah. sent some stuff. Um, it's kind of a blend. There's some great quartet, old time quartet songs, and then kind of a throwback to that DMB kind of country feel. So mm -hmm. it's just, I think it's going to be a great album. Speaking of songs that make me cry, I got, I got to tell you, one of my all time favorite uh, Dixie Melody Boys uh, songs got to be that. Antioch Church House Choir, buddy. You still yeah, do we, that one? We still sing it every day, every day. Yeah, yeah. If we didn't, then people would, well, we'd get requests for it before we go in, but it's, it's just a, it's just a song you always want, and we got it in 81. You know, a, a lot of a lot of folks, that, that their signature song, they don't like it. I guess they get tired of singing yeah. it. They didn't like it in the first place, whatever. What about Antioch Church House Choir? Do you like it? Never get tired of singing it. I really like it. Yeah. Herman Harper sent me that song, and, and, uh, so it did sound like something you'd love to do. Mm -hmm. And I like those those kind of songs. Yeah. yeah. And I listened to it and sat there and cried a while because my dad couldn't sing. He had a little, he had a bass voice like J.D., but he couldn't carry a tune, you know. Yeah. And I sitting there thinking about him, you know. Wow. I said, we got to cut it. Yeah. 50 years, you've seen a lot of changes, a lot of, a lot of ads, moves, and changes. Uh, gospel music in the year 2011. Uh, the good, the bad, where do you see it from the Ed O'Neill perspective? Greg, I don't know. It's all good to me. Yeah. Uh, we were sitting in front of a little church the other day. Right? We out in Sawyer, Kansas, you know, and it's easy for the devil to get in your mind. You know, well, I drove 28 hours to get you in. There's a church that won't hold 100 people. Yeah. And Rodney Griffin happened to send a song to us while we were sitting in the van, and I'm brooding, uh -huh. you know, because I know the expense is going to be heavy. Right. And uh, it's a song called the call, the call is Still the Same. There you go. And I said, well. Yeah. yeah. Isn't it funny how the Lord works? Yeah. <laughs> well, it's always an honor having uh, Ed O'Neill and all the guys, Stephen, Matt, and Donald in the house here. And uh, you and I were talking about it. Remember that the, back in the 70s, me and you? And you know, <laughs> Kingsport, Tennessee. Oh, I was South Lake Tilbury, 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 brother. Man. That black hat. <laughs> <laughs> Had enough sideburns to make a wig. <laughs> 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 that director two track, and you didn't want to be the guy that made the mistake where you had to do the whole song over, That's right? That's exactly right. Cause the musicians get, oh, they get irate. <laughs> hey, Ed, you didn't keep any of that sideburn hair, no, did you? No, I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> I I I we can sell that off. <laughs> let, yeah. let me tell you one quick story yeah. about the Antio uh, Church Choir. We were, Herman Harper produced it. We was over there in the studio, and we just finished the album, and we were adding some bells, of church bells, to the track. Yeah. And my buddy Tony Brown came by. You know, Tony oh, was my yeah. first piano player. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. And uh, we met and talked to him, and he heard that. He said, oh, you recorded the Antioch Church Choir. I said, yeah. He said, you planning to release it? I said, that's the plan. He said, you better hurry. I said, well, he said, I just finished a session with another group. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Did you beat him with the punch? I won't call the group, but Bob Crawford was a man I didn't wake up at the time, you know. He, oh. He called me one night and said, you old buzzer. <laughs> 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 he said, you got me this time, and I'll get you back. <laughs> well, they always say the man in a street fight, whoever gets in the first punch, usually wins. <laughs> well, it's always a, a winning situation when you get to talk with the Dixie Melody Boys, a 50-year anniversary record. Do you have any idea when it may be done? when it's going to be available? We're going to start on some tracks tomorrow mm -hmm. and then we're going to rehearse with them a while, I don't know how long, and then come back and 
give us some website information. We got to see what you're up to. Yeah. What what is it, guys? The uh, what, uh, website for Dixie Melody Boys is www.dixiemelodyboys.com. Boy, that don't get any simpler sense. than yeah. that. <laughs> <laughs> I believe even I can do that, <laughs> guys. Thank you.